Good evening, everybody. Yeah, good. Great, so tonight I'm talking about uh, QR codes. Uh, some of you may know what they are already. I'm going to give you a brief introduction of what they are, what they're for, um, and also let you know about uh, some of the ways I'm using them and uh, give you an idea of a little experiment that I've started. Just to give you a bit of background on QR codes, for those who don't know, they are two dimensional barcodes essentially. Your simple 1D barcode that you'll see on product, um, and the 2D barcode on the side there. Um, they contain a lot more information than the, the 1D barcode. You can scan them using any photo or camera enabled smart, uh, smartphone using free apps that you can download from the App Store. I've got a picture there of my iPhone, but you can use it on Android system um, and, and the other smartphone systems too. They can be used for scanning to websites, you can have people automatically email you. I've got an example there of a location map that you can send, and that's one from my office. Uh, you can get people to give you a call, there's a range of uses. A really great use for QR codes are deep links, where you want to go to a page within a website, rather than open up page on YouTube, and then sit through the uh, channels, and you're out wrong for the first time. Um, it's a way of getting this share. For example, you see a house you like, it's not saying, I don't want to have to start with this, it's £200,000, pounds, which category one is it, which is um, A couple of really cool uses that I've seen of QR codes over the last year. Uh, this one here is a chap at a festival, he had a QR code on the back of his t-shirt. It's a great conversation starter. Um, because people are coming up to him and asking him, say, stand still, let me, let me scan your t-shirt. The QR code size is directly related to the amount of content in it. So, for example, a great big long URL at the top there creates a big code. A little URL will create a little code. And obviously you want little codes because you can put them in little places, like business cards, without compromising the ability to scan. So to do this, I run everything, all my QR codes through Google, the URL shortener. Um, there are other ones available. The one I use Google because I, I get the Google Analytics and profile. QR codes can be altered, they've got an inherent redundancy, so you can actually alter up to 50% of the of code. Uh, and all these four codes are the same code, and they also scan, even though I compromise them. However, you have to make sure that you do certain parts, that some parts are sacred. You have to make sure that the big blocks in the corners and the smaller one as well, they're there for alignment. If you start corrupting those, then you lose your scannability. So you must make sure that they stay in place. Now then, QR codes, the, the, the actual blocks of the QR code, are, it's binary. When, when your reader scans it, it says, is there something in this space or not? So you can actually round uh, a single pixel on, on, a, on a QR code and it will still read because it reads more than 50% of the block. You can change the colour of them, but you need to make sure you've got lots of contrast. For example, you wouldn't want a pale yellow on a white background. Or if you've got a colour scene in your branding that's too close together, you won't get enough contrast. So bold colours. I started customising QR codes at Christmas. We sent out this little little card, our Christmas card, and we put it to an online picture, um, a little cartoon. And I thought my customers would say, great cartoon. They said, how did you get a Christmas tree in a QR code? And that's really where it started. So I started with my core sector in health and well-being. Uh, here's a couple of examples of some of the customised codes I did for them, where we embedded their, their branding into them. But I very quickly found that there was a bigger market for these. And people say to me now, what's this got to do with health and well-being? The answer is nothing. Um, they just look really great, and I kind of, I've almost got two sides to my business at the moment. So I started creating these, um, these codes for, for, say, some well-known brands, and for lesser known brands as well. Now then, you can actually have text just embedded into a QR code. It doesn't have to go to anywhere online. So we've created a series of greetings cards that have messages in. The big one says, will you marry me? Uh, we've got wishing you good luck, just to say I'm sorry, and so on. Now then, the experiment that I've started, uh, and it started a couple of weeks ago, and I'm, I'm having some success already, is I'm wondering what I can cr uh, to trade for a QR code. I've started marketing some companies that I like, the brands that I really like, their product, and I've said, what will you exchange me for, for a QR code? Maybe some, you know, tea pigs, for example, it's fantastic, great example. Um, and other lifestyle brands. But this one at night, you don't need to trade me anything, this one's just a gift. Um, and this is me here at uh, Denise at Hampson Solutions at Code UK. So if you like a nice QR code, and you might have something that you'd like to trade for one, please get in touch and I'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you. Thanks, that's nice. Um, I think we'll, we'll maybe we'll let you come and give a talk again in the future or something, maybe. You know, but that'll be our gift back. Um.